Uh, hi guys, super quick video for you today. Um, I just discovered um, something very, very exciting. Um, and that is that you can, just like how to how to use DaVinci Wide Gamut um, with Blender, perfectly no problem. Um, I have been trying to figure this out for a while and it just kind of struck me and I haven't been able to find anything about this on Google or on YouTube or anything. So I thought I would show you really quick. Um, first thing you gotta do is be in at least Blender uh, 3.1. That is where we get the capabilities to do this. Um, so I'm just going to use this little fun little scene that I made for a for a band poster a few weeks ago. Um, so yeah, all you got to do is go into compositing. You got to activate your nodes, and we're going to add a converter color space node, um, and we are going to convert from linear to linear aces um, and. I'll make another video about this some other time. I know it looks like we're going to aces, but uh, just bear with me. Um, so let me let me just do a quick render of this. Okie dokie, radical. So we're gonna save this as an open EXR. I'm gonna just do RGB half DWAA because that's what I like. Um, and we are gonna do this as a linear to aces linear. Um, so that's just going from the linear, the filmic linear color space, which is what Blender uses. That's the, the OCIO file, con config file, is a special Blender one that Blender uses. Um, and we are outputting to Aces linear, and Aces is kind of what like everyone else uses. Um, yeah. So and I think I think hopefully Blender is going more that way. In if I anything in three point two is uh, to 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 be believed to to help us out. Um, okay, I'm gonna save this at here. Um, cool, and then we are gonna go into into DaVinci Resolve, and we are going to just uh, find find that thing that I just made. I'm gonna bring it in here. I'm gonna show you. We are okay. I was playing around a little bit. I'm just joshing y'all though. I am gonna be in DaVinci Wide Gamut, output color space 703 Gamut 2.4. Yes, 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 that's all we want. Right now it looks ugly because it doesn't know what input device transform we want, but we're just going to right click, input color space, uh, and we're going to do aces. Bada boom. Um, yeah, this is this is what it's supposed to look like. If you want to bring in your, your Sony footage or your RE fo footage and interplay it with <laughs> with this if they want to if they want to gel and mesh then they can do that um yeah i'll just show you really quick we're going to go into the hdr part of the the color tab and uh just take a look at these uh these super bright neon lights and play with the exposure a bit yeah look at that roll off pretty cool eh pretty nice roll off i like it that's what i like seeing um, so yeah, this is something that I'm supremely excited about because, um, because I have a, I have a Fuji camera and, uh, Aces, Fuji, I guess just doesn't want to play with Aces right now, but Fuji does want to play with, um, with DaVinci Wide Gamut. Wait, where is it? Uh, right above there. Yeah. So... Yeah, I figured this out and I'm very excited because now I have a whole pipeline that I can use. And I don't have to I don't have to worry about using lots. I can use actual invite uh, input device transforms, which it wouldn't have been at the end of the world if I found a F log to Aces LUT. I did find one, but I'd rather it all be like above board a fish, if you know what I mean. Um so yeah, that's uh, that's my super quick super quick knowledge that I want to give to the world today. Um, I hope that helps someone because I've been trying to figure this out for a really long time. Uh, okay, bye-bye.